let's run it back to 1982 with my Knight Rider kit build. Welcome back to the channel. I know this is a little different today, but I thought you might like to enjoy to hear the story of why I have a Knight Rider kit car. Enjoy. I collect a lot of sneakers and I always wanted this car as a kid. So a lot of the sneakers that I collect, I got to exchange for cash for the amount of money that I could end up making my Knight Rider 1983 Trans Am. The original show released in 1982 and starred David Hasselhoff as Michael Knight. And it was one of my favorite shows as a kid. And I always told my mom before she passed, I would have a Knight Rider car one day. So uh, when she did pass, I sold a lot of my uh, sneaker collection and I bought myself a 1983 uh, Trans Am, as you can see here. It has a 308 engine in it and it is beautiful. If you're wondering, I just have the basic $50 strobe light to go on the front. It does the trick, it makes it look like Knight Rider and that's what I wanted. Uh, I've been working on this for the last five years. I think I've done a pretty good job as I am not a mechanic. Uh, I have wrapped the hood and I wrapped the bumper. I did start painting it, but it didn't look good, so I changed my mind. My addition is a 1983 Pontiac Trans Am kit. Originally, is a 1982 Trans Am. There's not much difference. Just one was made in 82 and 83. It's still an F-body Firebird. My car did not come as a, a T-top, so I improvised. It made it look like a T-top, and I think I did a pretty good job, as I've seen... Some people on some people on the Knight Rider built sites uh, showed this technique to make it look like it has a T-top and I think it looks great. It is black and it originally was blue. It was not painted by me. I, mean, I bought the car for 2000 bucks, runs and drive. I didn't have to sell too many sneakers to get the car, but it has everything that the Knight Rider had on his car. On the outside, you've got the blackout. Uh, across the tail legs, uh, you have the fin, you have the body shape of kit, you have the wheel uh, protectors there that only come on Knight Rider. Um, you've got this here, the uh, exhaust, uh, the air pipe here. That was originally on the kit Knight Rider car. Uh, I do have the original uh, turbo cast wheels, but the ones on my car right now are the fin and cast wheels. I want to switch them over, but it might take a while for me to do so as I can't find the caps for a good price. Your interior is your basic Trans Am 1982-83 interior. It is blue. I am changing it over to beige eventually. I do have the PMD seats as you see, but they are black. I got these seats for 40 bucks, so I couldn't pass them up. The ones originally in there were blue and they did not look right uh, in the car. So I switched them out to the black set. I need to know if I should put the bumper rail across here on this car. And someone in the comments, let me know if I should do that to this vehicle. I kind of think it looks clean without it, but if you guys think I should put it on it, let me know. Cause I've been debating if I should or not. Because the, you know, I have not adjusted the doors, so they're kind of off a little bit. So I'm thinking if I put the the side rail there, the bumper rail, it may change the look of the vehicle. Um, I don't know, you guys let me know. I do have a plate on this thing, it is not safety, so I've just been driving it around like a go-kart. It is missing a speedometer, and a few little things that might not pass safety, so I've just been driving it like a go-kart around my neighborhood. What do you guys think of Knight Rider? Do you guys remember the show from 1982? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And that is my Night Rider car. And that is why I have one. Or I'll do a new sneaker video in the next couple days. I just haven't had time to do it. So uh, that's my Night Rider car. Let me know what you guys think. And here's some glory shots of me taking it for a drive today. Thanks.
Well, that's my little video for today. I hope you enjoyed. It's a little different than the sneaker re reviews, but uh, if you enjoy Knight Rider like I do, and you enjoy some nostalgia to bring you back, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at 4C23. Until next time, peace.